Today we're going to look at gradient intercept form. The gradient intercept form of a linear relation is of this form, y equals mx plus c, which we've seen before. The m in our y equals mx plus c is the gradient, and the c is the y-intercept. So we should be able to very easily see from a linear relation that's in this form how steep the actual linear relation is, the gradient, if it's positive or negative, whether it's going up or going down, uh, and also see where our linear relation crosses the y-axis, where the y-intercept is. So to sketch a graph using gradient intercept method, we locate the y-intercept, that's our first point, so we know what our y-intercept is, we start at that point, and then use the gradient to find a second point, draw a straight line through those two points, and we've graphed our linear relation. So if I've got an example here, m equals two-fifths. The gradient is two-fifths. Remember, gradient is always rise over run. So the rise is going to be two, and the run is going to be five. So if we found, located our uh, y-intercept, we move five across for our run, and two up for our rise, then we've got our two points. So this is a graphical representation of this uh, method. So if we know we've got our y equals mx plus c, we locate our point 0c here on the y-axis, our y-intercept, put a point here, and then from our gradient being rise over run, we find out how much the run is along, and we run along that amount, and we rise by the amount that the gradient indicates, and put that point there, and draw our line. So for example here, we find the gradient and y-intercept of this relation, and then sketch the graph. So this isn't in the format of y equals mx plus c. We need to rearrange it. We need to um, use algebra to, to do that. So we're essentially trying to get y by itself, isolate y by removing everything, um, moving um, uh, everything away from the y. So we've got x plus 2y. I can subtract x from both sides, so I get 2y is equal to negative x plus 6. So I've just subtracted the x from this side, subtracted x from this side. And now it's starting to look a bit more like y equals mx plus c, but we've still got a coefficient of y here, 2y. So in order to remove that, I need to divide both sides by y. So I need to divide the whole of both sides. So 2y divided by y is just y, but I need to divide this whole side by 2. Divide the whole side by 2. So negative, this is negative 1 here, okay, there's a negative 1. So negative 1 divided by 2 is negative 1 half. So this negative x becomes negative a half x. And 6 divided by 2 is just 3. So we've divided both sides by 2. So now it's in the format of y equals mx plus c. We can see that m is our gradient here, and c is our y-intercept. So our gradient is negative a half, and our y-intercept is 3. So to plot using gradient intercept method, what we need to do is we need to uh, locate our y-intercept. Here it is, at 0, 3, on the graph here, 0, 3. That's our y-intercept right there. And then we can use our gradient. So now our gradient is rise over run. Okay, so our run is 2 along, 2 along. So I've run 2 here. And our rise, negative 1. So it means we've dropped down by 1. Dropped down by 1. So here, this is our negative 1 here of our rise. So I've got those two points now. I can join them with a straight line. Label my line. And I'm done. Last example, we need to just decide if this point is on the line for the following rules. So the point negative 2, 4 for these two rules. The easy way to do this is to use substitution and see if the y value that this point uh, gets is uh, the same as 4 if we input negative 2. So we substitute in negative 2 and see if 4 is the answer when we get our y equals. So, this is our relation that we're using to start. If we substitute x equals negative 2 into that, we get 2 times negative 2 plus 10. If we work this out, we get that y equals 6. Now, that's not 4, so that means that point is not on that line. 
That point is not on the line of y equals 2x plus 10. We can try the same thing with our y equals negative x plus 2. Substitute x equals negative 2 in. So this is the negative of negative 2. The opposite of negative 2 is just 2. So we get 2 plus 2, and that's 4. So that means that negative 2, 4 is on this line because it fits the rule. This point does not fit this rule. And because it doesn't fit the rule, that means that point would not be on that line.